Welcome, welcome back guys. We want to take a look at the measure of central tendency. With the measure of central tendency, it is looking at the typical score in the classroom. It is looking at the mean, the mode, and the median. We want to look at how we find the mean, the mode, and the median. And this is after the teacher has given her assessment. The assessment could be um, a multiple choice question. It could be um, a fill in the blank question, or independent pen and paper question. It could be an essay. It could be a project that they were given and using on Rubik to score to, to mark the scores for that particular um, project. Whatever the assessment is, teachers assess so that they can have an idea as to the performance of the class. All right. So the teacher would give the assessment, then get the collect the scores, then are able to make a good decision as to what to do. Should I redo, should I reteach the lesson, or should I move forward? All right, so the teacher is going to assess, then measure with the score, then evaluate by making a good decision as to what to do. So with the, central, with the, with the measure of central tendency, the teacher has now given the exam, given the test, and collects her data, collect her scores. And she now wants to find what is the mean score of the class? What is the modal score of the class? Or what is the median score in the classroom? So here we are bringing math into our language lesson, finding the mean, the mode, and the median. Let us jump at this particular exercise. So here we are given the raw data. Um, we're given 12 numbers, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12. So 12 students are in the class, okay? Because this is the, these, are, these are the number of students. This is the number of grades you have collected. And this, this could be percentage, all right? Percentage. Okay, so we want to find the mean. In order to find the mean, you first have to... And the total of all these variables plus um, divide them by the number of students in the class. So when you add all of this together, you're going to get 796. And the number of students is what? 12. 796 divided by 12 give you 66.3. All right, and if you don't want to use your calculator, you can always go ahead, all right, and drop your bar and the divisor will be 12. The dividend will be seven, nine, six, right? So your divisor, your dividend, and you could find your quotient up here. And 12 into 79, 6, 6, 12, 72, 7, right? 6, 6, 12, 72, 72 from 76, leave what? 4, right? And you, can, and you continue like that to get your hands up. All right? 3, 3, 12, 36, leave 4, 3, 12, 36. And we stop there. So you can get a 66.33 if you want to do it that particular way. All right, so our mean score here is 66.3. So 66.3% would be the mean score in your class, all right? You just could put it in percentage. That would be your mean score in the class. Of your 12 students, you could say the mean number is 63. Let's just find the mode. The mode is the one which occur most frequent. Is there a particular one which occurs most frequent? How many times do we have four to five? We have four to five, two times. How many times do we have 78? 78, one, two, three. So we could say our mode is 78 because it occurs most frequent. It occurs uh, three times in all. All right, in order to find the median, to find the median, you will have to ar arrange your numbers in 
numerical order from from um largest to biggest or biggest to smallest whichever one you want to use but you arrange them inside of magnitude all right so we could start from smallest to, to largest all right smallest we have 35 we have 35 we have 245 53 we have 57 I see 68, 78 comes what, three times? Yeah, 378. Then we have an 8 to 4. And after 8 to 4, we have 8 to 5. And we have 90. Let me check to see if I'm correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, this is 12. If we were dealing with one, two, three, four, five numbers, and you want to find the median, you would say, okay, one, two, one, two, and this would be the center, right? That one would be the center. But in this particular case, where we're dealing with an even number, we find that two, four, six. If you were dealing with six numbers, you'd have, okay, one, two from the left, three from the from the right. All right. So here would be my center. One, two, three. I realize that there's no number in the middle. Right? So what I'd have to do is to take the two that are closer from the center and add them together and divide them by two. That is all I'd have to do with this particular question to find the median because it's an even number. All right, so there's no number which stands in the center by itself. Let's count from this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there we have 6. All right? So I realize now that I have two numbers in the center. What I would have to do is to add 76 and... I'd have to add 78 plus 68 to 8, 16, 1... 6 as 14. I have 146. I would have to now divide my 146 by 2. Alright? 146 divided by 2. I have 7. 7 2 is 14. Break down the 6. 2 into 6. 3. 3 2 is 6. So my median value is going to be 73. And that's going to be my median value, all right? So if you note carefully, my mean was 63, 66.33%. My mode is 78, and my median value is 73. So I could say to myself as a teacher that the median value in the class is 73%.